Oh, hey. Just what I was looking for. Check it out, we got a little weather window, so it seems like prime time to do one more camper van trip before the walls close in and we all die. Or the weather gets bad, but whichever happens first. I think it's gonna be a good one. Just you and me, Mount St. Helens? What could possibly go wrong? And because this video is sponsored by Backcountry, I get to up my cold weather gear. And I'm gonna start with these pants. That's right, poofy pants in a bag. Oh my God, let's do this. Here we go. Every dispersed session always has this game of which spot should I stay at? I'm scanning for every possible turnout, bug out, spot that could I potentially call home. What about that? This looks great. There's even three fire pits that we can't use. We're gonna park it right there. Oh boy. Oh, the looks that I get for this sticker are worth the price of admission. There is a slight chill in the air because the seasons are changing and we're up here at X thousand feet of elevation. Scene report, nobody around. The smell is amazing. And we still got a little bit of sunlight. Yes. All right, let's, let's, let's organize ourselves. I think the first things first, let's set up a chair. We need a spot to sit down outside of the unit. We've been deploying for a while, so we need, we need some space. I keep my trusty, Healing off one chair, stowed ever so conveniently under the captain's chair. Ooh, there's people. Let's hide and watch them. And there's a lot of hunters out here, and they all have these giant RV trailer camper things. It's pretty intense. Good thing we're wearing exclusively bright colors. I get such a kick out of this. Hey, funny little pro tip on the Helinox. The bag that it comes in, if you stow it on the poles, it's just like a place for it to live all the time. You don't have to have like an extra bag floating around. I did not come up with that. I just read the instructions. Good looking out Helinox, that's a smart tip. And then he spent the whole episode talking about a chair. It was another cool thing about this model. This is the tactical model. It actually has pockets on the side for your pocket computer, which I find to be very helpful. Not all Helinox chairs have this. But this one does on both sides. Oh, hey, pro tip. If you're ever out and about in a little chilly but don't want to or don't have another layer to put on, all you gotta do is tuck your shirt in. It makes a huge difference and it's always available if you're into wearing shirts and all because, you know, they're not for everybody. Boom. Oh my God, now I'm too hot. Oh my God. So tonight it's gonna get cold and I had a new idea of what to do to keep myself warm in the van on chilly nights. I think the first step of thought is like, how am I gonna heat this whole space? Which is kind of excessive and I think unnecessary. Plus, you're gonna end up heating this front area unless you put like a big cover of some form and it. it's not the move. The thing I came up with is a heating blanket because we have the goal zero and it's gonna be so cold that we won't need to keep the fridge cold. So we're gonna just transfer that power into heat, which heat does pull a lot of power. So this is an experiment. There's a chance it's gonna use all the battery and I freeze to death. And then someone else will have to edit this video. R.I.P. Ellie, my wife, very kindly and reluctantly let me borrow the nice house electric blanket. And it's white, which is a daring move, but it, this is just one night to see if it works. And if it works, then I'm gonna figure out something better for the, for the dirty deployment unit. Dirty D, baby. But first we gotta do a little housekeeping. Okay, we'll see you in 10 minutes. Cleaning the van is a constant battle. It's almost like a Zen meditative practice in futility which I can get behind that. I'm okay with that. Oh, that's official. There it is. Home sweet home. And the other thing I've realized recently is to just have a jug that's for drinking and cooking, opposed to pulling it out of the sink. TMI, does anybody care about this? The sink is basically for cleaning and washing your hands and your face. Is this just like a slow, slow pull? to get that stuff out of there. So it's just easier to have one jug that's just straight up just a drinking jug and for doing hillbilly shit. Another pointless epiphany that I had, storing the window covers on the ceiling 
It's, it seems so obvious to me. It's perfect. They're flat. They're out of the way. I was keeping them like kind of by the door and some of them back here. And then every time I'd open this door, they'd fall out and get bent. So I figured it out. They go up there. It's like one of these cool motorcycle net thing. It's fucking perfect. It looks a little funny, but it's awesome. These are homemade. My wife Ellie sewed these. She's so amazing. Keep talking about the van. Are you going to do anything else? I don't have anyone else to talk to the van to about with. What? I need my camp snuggie because I run cold. Whew. I think I got to get a lift kit on this thing. And I was starting to do the homework on it, but it, there's kind of a lot to figure out. So if anybody has any tricks or tips, especially in Portland, hit me up. I could use any help I can get with this. This city boy needs a country. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Right now it's 537. The sun sets at 652. So I guess I should make food. Light is on our side. This is my modulation temperature control. We'll go half-ish way. Can I put it out? All the more time to practice my flint sticking. I think more than anything, I just get a kick out of doing it without a lighter. I'm scared to put this on. There we go. Because I'm always experimenting and I generally don't know exactly what I'm doing, the last time I used this setup, there was black soot over everything. It was filthy. It was disgusting. And I don't know how to remedy such things. If you know what's going on, for the love of God, help a player out. Leave a comment in the talker box below. Okay, we need water. Coolest part of two doors. Look at this. Boom. You want water? We got water. Are you comfortable here? I hope so. Tonight's frugal gourmet ravioli yet again. And it's actually just the same ravioli that I had last time. Look at that. There's stuff floating in there and everything. That's how the minerals. Okay. In my infinite quest for dope ass camper gear, I picked up these mountain hardware poofy pants. Yeah, baby. Finally, I've thought about it for a long time. I essentially picked these up for the last bike packing trip that I was on because I thought it was going to be really cold and this would be a great way to stay warm at the camp at night, but I didn't need it. It was too warm, which was a good thing, but now it's not as warm. So now I need them and I can't wait to use them for the first time right here, right now on Everything's Been Done. Oh man, this is going to be so cool. Oh man, these are so awesome. There's even a functional fly pockets. I am so stoked on these. Oh my. I feel warmer already. <laughs> oh my God, these are, how's that water doing? Deer Mountain Hardware, Dustin Klein, comment box. The only thing that would make these pants better if the stow bag was actually just one of the pockets and it could even have this elastic pull thing right there, right on it. We don't care or have it a back pocket. Anyway, just a, an extra thing is never like no one ever wants it because then you're like, where do I have that thing go? Less is more. The other move, it's time to go super cushy camper socks to go with the sandals because it's quick in and off in the van when you need it most. Oh, these are so comfy. Oh my gosh. Boom. There it is. Who loves you, baby? My water is definitely boiling. So we got to grab some food here to get in there real quick. Love this light, big feature. Mostly the size and the handles. Imperial beer, yeah, we need that. Some sauce, there's not very much. That'll be interesting. Here we go. So we've got ravioli, some salmon, and some spinach. First things first. Thanks, Lauf. How's that to touch? Five, six, seven. That's most definitely not enough. Which is fine, because I'm trying to watch my girlish figure. Would you like some sauce? Also critical, learn this from the master Doug Higley himself, a long spoon out of whatever material you like is the way to go. They're so functional. The length adds all kinds of accessibility, way more than I ever would have figured out. I don't care if they're interested or not. I'm just, I'm going off the hip, man. Did it go out? What the hell? What's going on? All right, the flame went out. Well, it looks like we're just gonna eat what we got. Hey, it ain't camping if it ain't dirty. This could use pepper. This could use a lot of things. One pot wonder to the max. Hey, have I told you about how warm my legs are recently? God, these pants are cool. Wave to the neighbor. They're all like, who's this solo Fruit Loop talking to himself, hanging out in the trees? Oh, that's fucking good. Do we have pepper? 
What do you mean we only have salt? No, it's not like pepper. Pepper is a seasoning. Salt is an essential element to cooking. Yes, I'll use it. No, there's no way this is entertaining for anybody. Carb loading. Yep, tomorrow we take on the mountain. It's right there. Behind the trees and the van and the... I'm too lazy to show you. It's right there though. <laughs> I just need to round it off a little bit with him. Okay, the move is to clean this up before all this stuff dries up because nightmare to clean then. But if you get it while it's still wet, it comes out pretty easy. So hold on. I'm experimenting with doing the dishes with this little piece of sponge and just, you know, a little bit of Dr. Bronner's. Just keep it, keep it kind of sort of simple. But look at all the, the soot. It's everywhere. And now it's all over this thing. Ugh, I can't. Oh no, <laughs> yuck. To this day, huge fan of the sink in the van. And also a little tip. Uh, this is like a weird dishes drying mat. It's like a foam thing, but it works pretty good to just, you know, it stows away easy and you just set it somewhere and then your things dry. Maybe I'll put it right here. Dry up my pretties. <laughs> right, it's getting chilly. I think it's time for a little tea that will really hit the spot. But here's a pro tip that I didn't figure out for years and wish that someone would have told me. How much water do I put in the teapot? Well, what I do is I fill up the container that I'm gonna drink out of so I know exactly how much I need. And then I take that amount, the perfect amount, and put it into the receptacle that's going to be boiled. I'm not wasting my time boiling unnecessary water. Good God, who wants that? It's really simple and it, it uses, it wastes nothing. It's super efficient. Oh, I hope there's enough water. You think there's enough water? Oh, there's just enough water. You think they got the point? Oh crap, I'm so sorry. Oh my God, I never mean to hurt you, but just sometimes accidents happen. Rub some dirt on it, tough it out. I don't wanna hear you complain. We're losing sunlight, which is why it's getting cold. So I'm gonna level up with the top torso. We're going full nylon warrior. It's true, I'm fully committed. Should we go for a walk on the dirt road because there's no trails around here? And the tea is ready, yet it's scalding hot because it's in a thermal insulation device. You just take a little camo juice and you neutralize and it almost sort of cools it down. Can we see if catering has an ice cube? Hey, hey you, do you subscribe? I might've walked too far from camp as the sun's going down. Now it's a little, it's a little, I think it's this way, or maybe it's, it's probably this way. Now it's night session, dark out. So we gotta hang on the van. Bed is made. All right, we got the, the heating blanket set up. It's big enough where I can sandwich myself into it, which is cool. And yes, I'm sleeping with my beautiful poofy pants on and my thick ass socks. <laughs> Lowest level is a one. The thing's pulling seven watts. So it's, on the low side, it's chill and you can, you can feel it just a little bit. So I, I'm i gonna start sleeping with nothing and just get cold. And then once I get too cold, I'll turn this thing on and it'll be real nice. But I think where this thing's gonna become real clutch is in the morning where it's freezing cold and this thing's just gonna be so awesome. I can't wait, what a cool experiment. I'm going to bed. I'm gonna see you in the morning. It's 40 degrees in the van right now and the heating blanket, it works. That's why I'm almost late for our meetup because I kept sleeping in my cozy, warm little bed nest. So that's that's a go. Good, good for that. Uh, we gotta get one that's not white though because that's a dangerous color in this van. What an amazing adventure. Thanks for coming along. I couldn't have done it without you. The food, the van, the poofy pants. I'm just saying, what a memorable time. And shout out to Backcountry for sponsoring this week's video. If you need some poofy pants, adventure gear, a proper electric blanket, they've got you covered. And use offer code DUSTIN15 for 15% off your first order to backcountry.com. If there's anything you liked here, go ahead, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, now might be the time. Well, I can't wait to go full poofy. We'll do the jacket with the pants. It's gonna be, oh my God, it's gonna, oh yeah, let's do that. Until next time, this is Dustin Klein going full poofer onesie.
I like it though. Woo, warm.